Another year to make some moves. Another year for drama. Another year to bring the news. And the haters, they gon' hate. They all can. But brutal with the next video for y'all, man. The Boot Squad is an organization. And when you get in, you, you gon' learn all the basics. He gon' teach you how to win. He gon' touch all the bases. It's our game. When we get the ball in the fourth, LeBron James. So you don't know. Your boy Brutal Sim on the scene wicked and mean with a next video for y'all man. So y'all know what it is by now. Take some time out, bless up your boy, like up the video. Definitely help the channel out because you know you're gonna always put y'all up on game. Oh let me pick some flowers real quick, man. Oh yeah. Let's get to the video. Y'all see the title. We're talking about play making badges which one y'all should use which one you shouldn't use which one you could put all the way up or which you shouldn't or which, which one you could just put a little touch or something now as y'all see right here i got two different badge loadouts man i got this one that i use more in the wreck and i got this one that i use more in the park just a little bit you know a, a slight difference this this one i don't have handled for days because in the park it's shorter possessions i feel like you know more split decisions and sometimes i just rim run or just you know go and spin back do something and get open a you know get a three or something but i know how to manage my energy when it comes to park versus the wreck wreck the possessions feel a little bit longer but anyways let's get into the details of the badges now if you're a playmaker and this is from a playmaker standpoint a point guard st standpoint someone who got the ball in their hand a lot certain badges you'll never see me use number one break starter will never use it even if i'm a center i don't see the point to using it because all you gotta do is press l1 r r1 and you're gonna toss it all the way down i don't see the point of break starter at all um dimer guess what anyone that plays with me gotta be able to shoot i'm not helping you shoot the game is too easy to shoot you better be able to shoot without me using up some badge points floor general same thing now if you're an off ball bill and you got some additional badges i recommend you add this badge right here floor general it definitely helps your team out but if you're a point guard and you know points are hard to come by. You see, I only got 22 right now for this bill. Now, if you got a lot extra, you could do it if y'all want. Me personally, I'm not. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I am not adding this, but it's up to you. Special delivery, I'm definitely not doing it because especially if you're a playmaker, you got already got a high passing, so you don't need this badge to help you at all with flashes or throwing lobs. Post playmaker, definitely not gonna use this unless you're a big that plays inside out. I don't recommend this badge again mismatch if you're a taller bill waste of time but i will say if you're a shorter bill it might be a useful badge for you man but i really don't think this is a badge that you necessarily need at all right ankle breaker very good badge stuns a lot sometimes snap up some ankles but do you need it is it essential i would say no can you snap ankles without it uh probably if you use unless you use like the space creator badge i don't see you really getting ankle breakers like that unless you probably got the shock rating takeover that snap ankles again so i don't necessarily use this badge a lot unless i'm in the park and you know i'm out there trying to get some clips or whatever but this badge is definitely not essential as well essential badges are the ones that y'all are seeing right here which are highlighted number one hyperdrive it's just as effective trust me as quick first step it definitely helps with your speed and the explosiveness of your player out of dribble moves y'all trust me it's such a great badge it's just as effective as it was in nba 2k 22 next one is quick first step definitely must have as well help you with the burst again very similar to hyperdrive to be honest i don't even know the difference between the two but they do both pop up at the same exact time <laughs> but they both help with effect with um explosive moves right so definitely equip these two of course you know they're going to give you some definition that separates them but to be honest they both help and i try one or the other they both help together together is the best way to use them trust me the next one you definitely need again is bailout now you don't have to put it silver you could actually put this badge on bronze it's gonna help you out of course you go up to dunk you see the defender is there you change your mind guess what pass the rock it's okay even while you're in mid-air it's gonna save you now the higher you put it 
the more leeway you got the more flexibility you got in terms of correcting a lot of your mistakes definitely one of the most essential badges in the game for on ball and off ball builds definitely use this badge vice grip you know when you come down with that rebound or when you get a pass from someone it's the most vulnerable you will be in this game whenever you're about to receive a pass or whenever you get a rebound or loose ball that's when you're most vulnerable now this actually helps negate some of that and you know people spamming this game all the time you're gonna need some help so i suggest you put it on at least bronze you could put it a little higher but at least bronze to help you out i saw a difference in bronze trust me now this is not a badge necessarily that you need 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 you could play without it especially if you're on ball and don't go for boards and stuff like that. if you don't go for boards and you're a point guard a short point guard right and all you do is get the ball and play make for people I could see you not using this or don't have to use it if you're you know really things are really hard when it comes to badge points but i still suggest you squeezing a little bronze to help you out man it's gonna save you a lot of turnovers in this game trust me the next one you need is unpluckable need i say more need i say more you already know what's going on these 99 lockdowns are running crazy now i will say i was able to run around with silver for a very long time and be effective but i will have to say if i reach up on a 99 or a pure lock i gotta be extremely careful gotta protect the ball a lot which means holding on the left trigger and if you want to play a little bit more free you could rock this on goal and above but it still is pretty pretty effective but you still have to protect the ball some especially with gold but anyways but silver yeah you really gotta protect the ball a lot once you reach up a lot down last but not least handle for days definitely a really really solid badge but this remember this is my rec lineup right now my rec lineup i expect i expect positions to go for longer periods so i put this on there because it's definitely going to help you not necessarily save the adrenaline bar but that main bar is going to make it going to kind of slow it down from burning out right so hopefully you got enough room to add this badge but if you don't because if you check out my park lineup my park lineup don't have it at all so i could actually play without it. it's not necessarily a must-have badge but it's a a badge that will help you if you have the you know the badge points now when you look here i actually added clan breaker this is such a great badge for isos and 1v1s and rim runners it's crazy <laughs> trust me i cheese with this bill a lot all you gotta do is get on the outside shoulder of someone and you will bump straight past them a very very good badge now i did rock killer combo for a while i did try it out um let me show you all here you see i actually got to a decent point so i did actually try it out on goal and it was decent it seemed like it's tight handles ish it stuns people a little bit but not a lot um, it helps you with your combos as well but is it a must-have I would say no especially if you're very you know um, if you make quick decisions if you don't spam dribble a lot probably if you're a dribble spammer it might help you all a little bit but as far as it being essential I would definitely save my badge points on that as well right all right so i think i cover all the badges you all see the lineup i'm running of course as i said before i run this lineup here for rec and then i run this one right here for the park man so i got two different lineups y'all choose whichever one is more convenient for y'all and y'all could adjust it to y'all need now needle tr trailer is a solid badge of course i've been trying it you definitely make more successful passes but if you don't have the badge points as i don't i just don't add it man i ain't gonna front with y'all but you i did try it out it was a solid addition to my lineup as well it's definitely an effective badge you get less turnovers especially when it comes to passing lanes but it does not negate all interceptions so understand that and if you feel like you're a little sloppy passer, you might want to add needle threader to your lineup man but anyways man that's all i got for y'all y'all know what it is your boy sim hopefully this video will help y'all out this was actually requested and what what was the next one i think they requested defensive next so y'all could look forward to that badge lineup or badge setup next man i got y'all anyways y'all till next time be safe out there y'all peace